Well said, well said. The question is that the motion be agreed to. I call the honourable member Julianne Genta. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise just to take a short call on the second reading of the um, of, of the trustees' amendment bill. And uh, I guess what I'd like to respond to is um, comments just made by the minister and the member who was previously speaking. Uh, obviously, the Green Party very much supports the di policy direction set by this bill to protect the public trust um, in the case of the abuse of the loophole that exists in what is admittedly um, a very uh, old piece of legislation. Um, however, I, I don't feel that we've heard um, enough about why the urgency is necessary in this particular week, uh, why we weren't able to find out about the bill a little bit more in advance, and uh, why the regulatory impact statement um, lists uh, four, four limitations, I think, three or four limitations on um, the, on the ability to assess what all the options were and all the different impacts of the options um, to address the problem that is at hand. So while I, I thank the Minister for her explanation, uh, the, the Green Party still has reservations about the process of urgency being used um, and about the incompleteness of the um, assessment of options. Uh, the Minister has stated that it is just a stop-get measure, and I appreciate that. I think we can understand that um, it is necessary to have a stop-get measure until uh, the Financial Markets Authority Bill um, does pass into law, or sorry, the Financial Markets Conduct Bill passes into law. And it, it will be interesting also, um, one of the recommendations of the regulatory impact statement is a longer term review of uh, the appropriateness of the role of a trustee of last resort. And um, we will be looking with some curiosity and interest as to um, the Law Commission's review of the Trustees Act of 1956, which is referred to in the regulatory impact statement. So just to reiterate, um, the Green Party supports the bill and understands uh, that there is potentially a need for, well, no, there's definitely a need for a stopgap measure, uh, but we question merely the process um, and we wish there had been a little bit more transparency and uh, we hope that indeed this bill does um, achieve its aims and that um, longer term uh, other potential loopholes are able to be addressed as well. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will please say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Trustee, Public Trust Amendment Bill, second reading. This bill is set down for committee stage forthwith. I declare the House in committee for consideration of the Public Trust Amendment Bill. Mr Speaker. Mr Chairman. Members, the House and Committee on the Trustee Public Trust Amendment Bill. A point of order, Jamie Lee Ross. Mr Chair, I seek leave for all five clauses of the Trustee Public Trust Amendment Bill to be taken as one question. Leave a sort for that purpose. Is there any objection? There is no objection. The question then is that clauses one to five stand part. I call uh, Andrew Little. Mr Chairman, uh, thank you very much. Um, to uh, the opportunity to speak yet again on this important bill. And so really, I just want to take this opportunity to uh, 